Hi friends. <laughs> I'm here today in my new perfume shirt that I designed. That's available on Cotton Bureau. Yay! <laughs> and I'm here on a Sunday because one of my favorite beauty and perfume YouTubers, Lauren May Beauty, has been doing scent Sundays for a while now. And I have loved getting to know her through her videos and getting to like experience different delightful perfumes and just wonderful things. So someone had asked recently who some of my favorite YouTubers are. So I'm going to try to share them as I can tie them into what I'm doing because I don't want to give you all of them at once because then you won't go follow all of them. So follow one at a time. <laughs> but today for my own version of Scent Sunday, I am excited because I ordered the Ellis Brooklyn Scent Library discovery set. I ordered this from the Sephora spring sale. I am not a high level Sephora shopper, so I only got 10% off, but I really wanted to try this and it was 10% off. So why the heck not? We're going to go with it. I loved that it was in the form of a library that applies to many of my interests. And I'm excited to sniff these with you and have a fun scent Sunday. Happy scent Sunday. <laughs> So when you open this up, all the little vials in there. Am I gonna keep this packaging? Yes, I am. Do I always keep packaging? Not always, but I can see some favorite packaging from here. <laughs> in here today, we are going to be testing Myth Rose, Fable, Raven, Reeves, Sci-Fi, Fawn, and West. I've heard really good things about these and I am excited give them a try. I just threw all of these things on the floor. <laughs> all right, so here we have a little vial of myth. What does a myth smell like? I don't know. I feel like it's kind of fun when scents have names that you can't really tie something physical to because then you get to be surprised. All right. Oh, that's nice. These are old cut up greeting cards. <laughs> that's nice. That feels very fresh and light. Like bright, maybe not light, but like bright jewel tones. That feels like I woke up in the morning and the sun is shining and I'm having a good day and I'm just going to go out and do nothing and just enjoy it. That feels optimistic. All right, and it says that one is bergamot, cassis, jasmine petals. Oh, I like that. Patchouli, liquid must, musk, musk, and white cedarwood. This one, r r r r rose. I'm nervous because rose is just not my favorite scent, but we're going to go for it. I feel so large when I spray these things. I'm a giant. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so I get rose here, but I get rose like there's a single red rose in a vase on a table and I am drinking a nice glass of red wine. I no longer drink, <laughs> but if I did, I'd be drinking a glass of red wine. And there's some like fresh cut grass in the background. That's what I'm getting. I like that so much more than I thought I would. Okay, let's read the notes. That oh, one surprises me. Sparkling combination of Centifolia rose petals, Sicilian lemon. Oh, yes. That fresh. I think that's where I was getting like the greenness from. Over vanilla orchid and spring musks. Very springy for sure. I feel like the lemon is what was picking up for me is like green outside. And that red rose is just coming through really nicely. Sort of like rich red wine kind of smell. I like that a lot. I like that better than myth. I'm going to make a an order over here as I smell them. See if it moves around. Fable. I have an idea of what I think Fable could smell like. Because, I don't know, my brain is just like thinking of old timiness, like a tavern. Oh, oh, 
Oh, okay. Oh my God, it's like sweet tarts. Like woody sweet tarts. <laughs> and did I reuse these from last week since I didn't use them after I made them? Yes, that's why they say something different on the back. That's all I get, woody sweet tarts. Neroli, petty grain, and honeysuckle make for a lovely intro, but it's the finish of crisp amber and cedar wood that adds character. Apparently neroli and honeysuckle together make sweet tarts in my brain. I don't hate that, but I can't get past sweet tarts. And I don't know that I want to smell like sweet tarts. I don't know if that's the vibe I'm going for. All right, next we have a raven. If it doesn't smell like a bird, we riot. Ooh, okay. This is a departure. So the first three felt very similar, like bright, sparkly, fresh, springy, optimistic kind of scents. This one's got a depth to it. This is like a darker, moodier. Oh, there's something in there I really like. This smells very familiar, but I think if I actually like decided what I thought it was, it would probably be something stupid, like some kind of office supply. It fits the name because it's got kind of a, a, a darkness to it. Yeah, I like this. What's this? There's hair stuck to this. That's gross. Raven, an incredibly seductive, you know me, I'm peak of seduction, pairing of peony and patchouli, while blonde woods, mandarin, and rhubarb add complexity and depth. Okay, I've been noticing <laughs> that I like rhubarb scents. I'm kind of surprised. There was a rhubarb scent in last month's olfactive subscription, which I did sign up for, which I will be opening with the next one with you and smelling them because look, People may not be interested in these videos, but I'm enjoying making them. So I'll keep making them until someone shows up to watch them or not. I'm just having fun, so don't judge me. This is a very different kind of rhubarb. So the one I'm thinking of is I think was called like August Picnic and a date in the 1960s. This is sort of a jewel tone vibe for me too. Like the jewel tone fruitiness comes from. Yeah, that's nice. That's my favorite of them. I feel like it is similar to the rose, the r r r r rose scent, but with a little like darkness to it. And I like that. All right, next we have Reeves. I'm gonna call it that. I don't, I don't know. It's basically like rivers, but they forgot the second R. But I'm assuming it's Reeves. Ooh, that's very green, very planty. These are all pretty springy. This feels like a very springy set. So if you're looking for something, you just want to pick up a bunch of different things to smell like spring. I feel like all of these really work. Okay. It says Reeves is a fresh yet addictively wearable combination of orange flower, lavender, petty grain. I need to look up petty grain. Actually, let's do that. Google with me. Goo That's not what I was trying to do. <laughs> Pronounced petty grain. All right. Essential oil extracted from the leaves and green twigs of the bitter orange tree that makes sense okay yeah i get that bitter orange greeny leafy yeah that's really coming through well that makes sense look at me learning things i really like lavender i feel like i like the things that go into this maybe it's the suede i'm picking up on that feels a little funky this is a funky one it's kind of like me poured some ingredients in like a new purse and then you're like oh no there's Lavender and orange flowers and bitter orange in my purse. Yeah, I think it's the suede that's throwing me off. I don't dislike that. It's not terrible, but it's probably my least favorite so far. All right, next we have Sci-Fi, which honestly, this really sold me on the brand. I was like, yes, I need to try that. I love Sci-Fi stuff. My husband reads a lot of Sci-Fi books and watches a lot of Sci-Fi movies as do I occasionally when I join him. And I just like the idea of telling him, guess what I'm wearing? It's sci-fi. Ooh. Ooh, okay. I feel like all of my favorite perfumes have some kind of like a hook. And I'm not sure exactly like, it's not always the same thing, but it's some kind of something that just like 
grabs onto me and makes me want to like smell that forever. This has it. That smells incredible. It's got like a floral to it, a sweetness, a little freshness, a little greenness, but like, ooh. Yeah, I want to smell like that. Sci-fi is an intriguing, I'm with you, oh, otherworldly, it's what I want to be, blend of green tea. Yes. Okay. I don't care. I don't even know. Before I even know what's in these things, I know if I like a scent, it's going to have some kind of tea in it. And I don't know what that says about me. I like tea, but like, who knew? Green tea, pink freesia, bitter orange, and vanilla beans. Okay. Yes. I have noticed a lot of scents that have florals in them. I like better with a little vanilla, but this has that sweetness like like really like a vanilla bean, not like a vanilla extract. Like this doesn't, this is not like a, a cookie. That's great. Putting that on the list. 10 out of 10. Wood sci-fi again. All right, we have two more. We have Fawn. I've been reading the Crescent City series by Sarah J. Moss. And there's a ballerina who has hooves because I believe she's a fawn if I'm remembering correctly. And she has little antler, like little horns that come out of her hair, like her little bun. And I just think that's so cute. Fawn is nice. I feel like I'm getting some like incense vibes. Definitely like a sourness to it, like a sour bitter orange maybe. I feel like there's a lot of bitter orange in these. Yeah, this one makes me think of like springtime, but you're going to Latin mass. And there's an altar boy <laughs> you may or may not have a crush on that's got the incense thing and they're going for it. That's what that reminds me of. Let's see what's actually in it. I might be crazy. We'll find out. Sunwarm skin, coconut, milk, and bergamot. Interesting. Create delicious tension between naive and knowing inspired by the best coming of age novels. I don't know how I picked that up. It doesn't say there's any incense in there, but I apparently picked up the vibes of coming of age. <laughs> yeah, I don't dislike that, but it's definitely not one of my favorites. All right, and the last one is West. West, go West, young man. A really fresh optimistic uplifting little like a lot of them have that like sour note of like a lemon or a bitter orange or a bergamot or a neroli like all those kinds of things what have you got in you inspired by 1970s los angeles west is an ode to the joyful spirit of citrus blood orange clementine and lemon yeah i got that i got the citrus i was looking for something else to get but that was all there was I like a citrus. I used to wear, when I was really young, I would get um, like a free Clinique Happy when my mom bought stuff at the Clinique counter. That was like the only perfume I remember ever having or using growing up. So I like a citrus, but this is definitely more of like a mature citrus than that one. That one was just like, I'm sweet and I like oranges, which is also a vibe. Like I'm not against that, but this is nice. These are all really nice. Again, springy, optimistic, positive, uplifting, like this whole line feels, this whole line feels like something I will grab these again. Um, I felt less like that about the commodity set that I did previously. I'll link the video below in the description box. Um, I really liked book out of that set, but the rest of them I've, I haven't really wanted to grab, but I think I might put all of these in the, uh, the rotation of my little samples. I have like a little cup on my vanity with little samples in it. So if I'm not wanting to grab from one of my bottles, I'm like, Ooh, who do I want to smell like today? It's fun. That felt like a good Sunday afternoon perf perfume smelling adventure. Sci-fi is a win. Sci-fi is a, a full bottle, spend the money, love it, it's a win. The one with tea in it, who knew? From the commodity set, book was the one with tea in it. We like tea.
We want to smell like tea. Put me in a tea bag. Call it a day. <laughs> All right. Hopefully that was fun. I don't know. I had fun. If I had fun and you had fun. What else is there to say? Really? Pose for a thumbnail. <laughs> Stupid. I'm gonna try to keep this snappy. Snippity snaps. A rhubarb pie in the summer. Rhubarb pie made by my mother. <sighs> okay. Anyways, I'm kicking my trash can. And smell something? I don't know. It's Sunday. Happy Easter. What are we doing here? I'm gonna go eat some deviled eggs. Get yourself a perfume shirt if you're into that sort of thing. I've got other shirts too. Every purchase helps me continue to get to paint things. Speaking of painting, oh my god, this is a hot mess. But I put a new painting up here in the background. Yay, I finished it. If I'm not back in three to five business days, it's because I'm still here trying to end this video. Get out of here and go sniff something. <laughs>